Alright, this is FJ Neath and this is a tutorial on how to create a professional logo for your company or for any other purposes. Okay, so first open up Photoshop. And then create a new document. The width and height should be that of a square, so 800 by 800 or 500 by 500 are the best measurements. The best resolution would be 300 for the logo, or 72 would be great too. You can have the background contents as transparent. Now, first we'll add the title. You can make it any size you want. Okay, now you want to make the title look a little fancier, so go to effects, and then add a bevel and emboss. Make sure that the size is 54 for the structure, and the opacity is 48 for the shading, and 32 for shading and sh uh, shadow mode. Then next we'll add the stroke. You can make this any size you want, but mine will be six. I'm gonna make it white. After that, add the inner shadow. And the measurement should be 75 for opacity, 21 for distance, 21 for size, and I mean 24 for size. That should be good. Now add the inner glow. And change change the elements to 9 for the size. And the rest should be a preset. Now add the satin. satin. Now add the satin. Make sure that the opacity is 58. The distance is 92. And the size is 62. Then if you want you can add a color, color to it. Or a gradient or choice. And I'll make ours blue. There you go. You can already see the changes. Then add a drop, drop shadow. Make sure the distance is 8 pixels. And the size is 54 pixels. And the rest should already be set. Now after that you want a background, so I already have a background here, so but if you want if you want to get one you can just cut it down to five hundred by five hundred. If you want, you can add a stroke going around, going, going around the background. Make sure it says inside so you'll be able to see it. You can change it to any color you like. And any size. Then if you have um, a logo or an image you want to add into it, you can just drag it in. Now another cool thing you can do is...
is you can add some grid like lines around your picture. So first add a new layer <clears throat> and then use the polygonal lasso tool to draw a shape that you may like. Now use the stroke tool and fill it in with any color, it doesn't really matter. Then after that, there are plenty of effects to add onto it. So I'll just paste this layer onto it, layer style onto it. You may have seen this in our logo or a couple of our YouTube banners or Facebook banners. I'm just gonna open up, open it up and show you the effects that I put on it. So just pause the video throughout every step to see exactly what to do here. So that one was glow now, I mean that one was stroke, now it's inner glow. Then this is the sign, make sure it's exactly the same. If you want like a blue glow, then this one's outer glow. <clears throat> and this is drop shadow. Okay, so if you follow up and keep on adding those lines, you should end up with something looking like this in the end. So this is FG&E signing out.